Hey everyone, so welcome to my new channel. So I decided to make this channel because I have some very exciting news and a very exciting opportunity has come my way and I'm going to get to take part in it this summer. So flashback to September, I applied for the Disney J1 Cultural Exchange Program and you apply, you, um, you fill out all their questions, you submit a resume and application, and you wait. And wait, and wait. Um, and we waited a really long time this year. Usually it's not as long as what we waited, but we waited a very long time. Um, but basically what this program is, is it allows university students in a bunch of different countries all over the world to move to Orlando and work in Walt Disney Parks for a summer. So I applied to go there for the summer 2020. Um, we waited until January and it was January 10th, I believe, I feel like that's right, that I got my interview. Um, so I was sitting in the Rideau Center, um, in Ottawa and I was eating lunch and I got an email and it said, congratulations, you've been offered an interview and I freaked out and started crying. I was like blown away because that is the probably the toughest part of the entire process is just getting an interview so the fact that i got that was already exciting um hi so i just got an interview with the walt disney company for their j1 cultural exchange program this summer um so i am going to toronto on january 28th to meet with recruiters to interview for that job and i am currently in the Rideau center shaking about to cry i feel absolutely nauseous um i don't know what to do this is like i learned about this program when i was 13 and the idea that i could possibly be doing it right now is crazy so yeah, so I got my interview offer and you get to log on and pick your interview date. So I selected January 28th. Um, basically how interviews work is they're ta they take place in Quebec City, Montreal, Vancouver, and Toronto. So I couldn't make it to the Montreal day, so I decided to do Toronto, which is closer than obviously the other two, so it was easier for me. So I selected January 28th, and how the day works is there's a presentation that takes place at 9.30 that everybody has to go to, and it's about an hour and 15 minutes long, maybe, something about that. Um, so you have to be there for 9.30. So I showed up at like eight-ish, and then I met up with some of the girls who were also in my, like at the interview day, um, we got coffee and then we sat around and then we went up to the actual Disney office So we did our presentation and that was from 9 30 until like 10 45 ish um, And I selected the first interview slot which I heard tip is Good because if you're not in that first 11 a.m. To 12 p.m. Slot you could sit around all day and like you could be sitting around in an office all day until like 4 p.m. So I was quick and I got that first time slot, which is what I wanted. So right after the presentation, the recruiters brought us into the little kitchen area in the office and they said they would start calling us in immediately. I think I was the fourth interview and I think there was about 10 interviews per hour slot. So I think it was the fourth out of 10, maybe can't exactly remember. And I had a Disney recruiter named Steve and he was so sweet and so kind and my interview went really, really well. It was basically just a chit chat back and forth about how much we both love Disney and why we love the company and why I think I would be a good part of their team and why I should go down there this summer. So the interview part went really, really well. He seemed to like me and I told him everything I wanted, what my top rules were, um, what my preferred start date was, and all of the nitty gritty stuff, if you can survive Florida heat and all that stuff, which is probably the hardest part of the job in total. But yeah, so the interview went great. After all of the girls in my time slot finished up, we decided to link up some lunch in Toronto. And then after that, I was actually able to meet up with my aunt who works in Toronto. And we just got coffee really quick and were able to catch up. And then I headed back on the train at like 4 p.m. that night back to Ottawa. So it was a really, really quick, like not even 24 hours in Toronto, but it was a really good day. Um, and they told us on interview day that we would be hearing back mid-February. 
everybody say hi. Like lame vlogger ever when they're like no, opening like, the door. I can't attempt. believe this is actually happening. <laughs> Welcome back to the vlog. <laughs> so we just finished our presentation and I've never done this before, but I'm They're with all of these <laughs> beautiful people. And now we wait. I'm scared, but here we go. So what's your height for? Oh my goodness, uh -huh. we did it. My height for? We did it. <laughs> we did it. Um, my height? Oh, I was gonna get one. Here, one second. So we're post interview. Yay. We're all done and we're at lunch and we all feel really good about it. So fingers crossed we're all in Disney in like a hundred days. Oh my god, I have no idea. Which is crazy, but yay! Interview day's done! Um, as you saw, I got lunch with a bunch of the girls who I met who were super sweet and we had such a good day together. Um, so I really hope I get to see them all again. It was so fun. I just want to talk a little bit about the experience. So today felt surreal. Like, it didn't exist. It's a really weird feeling when the day finally comes. And it wasn't even, like, nervous. It was just, like, is this real life? Like, this is Walt Disney. They've picked me to interview. I'm currently wearing a Mickey Mouse sweater because they changed it in my interview clothes. But yeah, so it, so this was a very quick trip and <laughs> the past day has been ridiculous, but I'm glad I was able to get some video clips and some clips with all the girls and it was super fun and now we wait. So we cross our fingers and wish on shooting stars that the best outcome comes out of this and we really hope that I'll see them all again and we'll get to make some magic this summer. But Flashback to last Wednesday. Probably one of the most stress-inducing days of my life. Um, I was studying on campus as I had a midterm later that day and I decided to take a break and check my phone. And when I did, I saw that the Facebook group was blowing up and I went and looked and offers started going out. So I'm sitting in the library and studying because I have a midterm and all of a sudden I see someone share that offers have started going out. So it looks like it's alphabetical because right now everybody that's posted is like A or B last name and some C's. So I have a little ways to go but I am freaking out and I keep refreshing my email and I don't know what to do with myself because I literally can't breathe and I might throw up. So. I'll update you crying if I get an offer. Um, but basically, I started panicking. I called my mom freaking out. And she told me to calm down and keep studying, basically. And that was really hard at that point. But I sat there, refreshing my email. I think I think the first couple ones started going out at like 11, 11.30ish. And I like spent three hours refreshing my email. Freaking out to my friends in group chats and Snapchat that like I wasn't gonna get an offer and I was so gutted and I felt so nauseous and like there was nothing that said I didn't like it it takes there's they go out in waves like it takes time to send X amount of people in emails about offers but I was gutted and I was so nauseous and I was stressing because I was gonna have to go into a midterm not knowing whether I got an offer or not and I was like so distracted. So I decided I couldn't sit in the library any longer and I was just gonna walk to the like campus building that my midterm was in and sit outside of it and try and read my notes a little bit longer before my midterm. And probably one of the most exciting things that's ever happened to me happened. Um, I was sitting outside of the lecture hall just reading some of my notes and texting some of my friends about the program and I got an email. And the email header is congratulations which I'm getting teary eyed thinking about it again, which is basically I just started sobbing. Um, I don't think it, you can really put into words, why am I crying? Um, what that feeling was like for me at least. And I know for a lot of the people in like group chats and like Facebook pages that I've talked to as well, it was basically the same. It's crazy. Um, 
it's like un like there's no words to describe it it's really really crazy feeling but basically i started crying and i opened the email and it said congratulations we are offering you a position this summer on the cultural exchange program and i went holy crap um and i called my dad and if anybody knows my family we are Disney nerds. So obviously my parents were very excited about this opportunity and they wanted it for me just as much as I wanted it for myself. So I called him absolutely sobbing and he could not tell if they were happy tears or sad tears. And when I told him they were happy tears, he was very, very happy for me. So we proceeded to talk for like about 10 minutes because I literally had a midterm to write in 15. Um, just about some details and like things because we had to pay like program fees and like I had to like accept my offer and stuff like that and when I hung up with him I took the clip that you are going to see now. This on my campus and I just got offered a job with the Walt Disney Company this summer and it's in March 9th and I start on May 11th and I'm ugly crying on campus right now because I can't handle myself. I just called my dad, and I don't know what to do, and I'm gonna call my mom, and then I have to go write a midterm. Bye. So yeah, that was my reaction. Like, full, ugly cry, sobbing in the middle of campus, nothing cute. Um, it was rough, and I walked into my midterm with like, red puffy eyes, like, pre-cry, and probably everybody thought I was crying about the uh, midterm, <laughs> which I should have been. But yeah, so that was, offer day and I am so excited to announce that I will be taking part of the 2020 Disney Cultural Exchange program and I will be working in merchandise which was my number one role so I'm super 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 excited um I it doesn't feel real this can't be real life like everything about this entire process is just crazy to me so I'm gonna work for the Walt Disney Company this summer. And that does not feel real, but it's it's starting to set in and I'm just super grateful for the opportunity and so excited. So it is currently February 18th when I'm filming this. Um, and I start on May 11th. May 11th is my arrival date. My family and I have actually decided to go on a trip before my program start date. So I will be in Disney from May 2nd to May 10th with my family. Um, and on the morning of the 11th, they are flying home and I am staying put. So if you've sat through this whole spiel um, and you wanna see what it takes to be a Canadian who gets to work in Disney for the summer, Stay tuned. Um, I have a lot of video ideas I want to do. Uh, anyways, stay tuned for Happily Ever Hannah. Bye!